In order to provide air to the Advantech sheets, a clear venting path must exist between the vent that's connected directly to the treatment pod and back through the septic tank and ultimately up through the home piping and to the roof of the house where the vent is installed. The difference in elevation between the vent at the pod and the vent on the top of the home gives us enough elevation difference to provide some convection air movement between the two. If any of the air path or any section of the air path is obstructed, then obviously ventilation will not occur and the Advantex treatment unit can go anoxic and ultimately the sheets can, can get gummed up with biological slime temporarily. Um, in some cases we don't have a direct path all the way to the home so that has to be um, made up by either venting on the opposite side of the treatment pod and elevating that vent to a height that provides that difference in elevation to promote convection or in extreme cases we have to install a very small ventilation fan to force air from one side of the pod to the other. But in most cases if we have a venting problem it can be easily solved by doing a little troubleshooting. Um, hopefully you enjoy this video. Give us uh, any questions in the comments below and feel free to, to subscribe. Thank you. So let me explain to you how the venting works on both the AX20RT, AX25RT and all the AX20 systems. We've got a vent here on the side of the pod or the RT unit that interfaces on the interior of the system. It's hard to see that. Critical that that vent has a, a straight through path into the unit or the pod itself because that's where obviously the air flows in. The vent works through convection so ultimately the, the water, excuse me, the air passes into the vent through the media and that's how the media gets oxygenated for the aerobic process. It'll vent back through the septic tank and then ultimately up to the roof of the house. Through convection, the vent at the house is at a higher elevation than the vent down at the treatment unit. So it has basically lower atmospheric pressure there, causing air to flow in from here and back up to the roof of the house. That's nice in two ways. One is air doesn't typically come out of the treatment unit at this location to where smells would be at a minimum going the other direction. And of course, if it vents out of the top of the roof, then it's less likely that people will smell it. Can put a carbon filter on the house if we had to, if that air happens to waft down into their barbecue area or whatever the case may be. Um, this happens to be one of those places where they did actually do that. So what we're gonna show now is we're gonna show our ability and our equipment to test whether or not the system is venting. We've got some a procedure and equipment for that. All right, so what we've done is put all the lids on. Obviously, if the system's gonna vent, the lids have to be closed, so the, war, the air will flow through the proper path. What we've got here is a vent checker tool. It's got a rubberized fitting on the bottom that allows you to kind of see Allows you to put that over the top of the vent itself down there and then at the top you see the little piece of pipe at the top that's where our incense are so it's kind of a smoke test sort of deal we use incense to produce the smoke and then there's a hole in the pipe right there where you put the incense in so we'll demonstrate how this works i can smell the incense already it's so wonderful so Cass is firing up the incense. To produce the smoke. And then we're gonna set that in that hole. And then we're looking for it's going down. the smoke to go down the pipe, not to come out the top. So we know it's actually pulling air through on a continual basis because, again, convection pulls that air from this location up to the roof vent you see up there. 
that's the wrong one. It's a little roof vent there in the shadow. So looks like we're working here. If you get smoke that comes out the top, you know the air isn't getting pulled through. It's just stagnating, stagnating and not ventilating the, the pod. So there's something wrong in the ventilation system. In some cases, there could be an interruption in transfer of air right at the vent here if it's settled and there's a belly in it and water's accumulated in that belly. In most cases though, it's the line between the septic tank and the home where you get a belly because that air is gonna have to pass through that line that goes to the house and eventually ties into the house ventilation system for the roof vent. So if that's settled, then you get a belly in that. Um, if you suspect that's the case, then you're gonna have to camera that. The other thing it could be for venting is the effluent filter could be plugged that's on the downstream end of the septic tank. So before you do a vent test, you wanna check that to see if that might be plugged up. That could be the, the root of the problem. A lot of times if you get the venting fixed and you've got problems in the pod with biological slime that's generated or that's, being, that's accumulating on the media, if you get the venting fixed, you can spray that down. If oxygen starts entering the system, then you end up correcting the problem and that the whole thing ends up kind of, all that biological slime ends up getting ate away by the aerobic bacteria in there and so it corrects the problem pretty quickly without a bunch of extra effort.